Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a really quick review of uh, the app NFC Smart Q. Uh, before I get to that, just want to remind you that this uh, review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is uh, just the best uh, website on the internet to get really cool NFC stickers, tags uh, for use with your Android phone. Anyway, uh, getting right to it, let's hop on my phone and uh, I'm just going to show you really quick uh, NFC Smart Q, uh, just the cool features that it has and cool things you can do using the app along with uh, NFC stickers. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are inside of NFC Smart Q. Um, as you can see right on the front here, you have your list of various things you can uh, control using your tags. You can also use some preset up mode tags and once you've created tags you can save any tag you create as my tag so that you can reuse it again if you need to. You also have a history tab that will show all the different tags you've made. So let's show you how to create a new tag. Let's say we want to control our volume settings. Um, also there's a little tab over here. Anytime you slide that over you'll see what you've added to a tag you're about to create. So let's go into control settings. Let's go into sound and volume. Ring volume. So you want to lower the volume. Uh, and then we're going to change, go in there again, and notification volume, we're going to lower that too. We're going to say this is for when we're going to bed at night. And then control settings, and we're going to go to sound and volume, and finally go to media volume, and lower that too. Okay, so you got those three things on now, there. Now you can save that as a my tag if you wanted to save this particular profile to be written uh, to other tags, or you can just directly write it. So you click write, it tells you, play on the tag. Uh, it does give you the option to make it read only, but you have to remember that if you make a tag read only, you can never, ever, ever change it again. Once you've done it, that's it. And uh, as you can see, there was a tag back there, one of the red uh, Andy tags, and so once we tapped it on there, even with the case on, it can read through the case. Uh, without any problem. So now it's set. So we're going to go out of here real quick. We're going to go into volume levels just so you can see where all my volume levels are. And now we're going to tap that tag. And now because we tapped that tag, if you go back into volume levels, you'll see it lowered the volumes. So this is the basic use of uh, NFC tags and what they're going to be used for most and what an app like this is used for just to quickly automate things. So like that could be your volume settings when you go to bed at night. You can also control the brightness of the screen uh, as part of that too so that you really do everything you want. You can launch an app so you could have it do that and then launch your, uh, your alarm app to set your alarm. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, that's just to give you another example. You can send a text message. So uh, we're going to put a phone number in here. Let's see. Let me do this away from you. Well, let me show you the message part. I'm going to write a message. So this is going to say, uh, I'm on my way home. And I'm going to put my phone number in here real quick. Okay, so I put my number in there and now I'm going to rewrite the tag. Tag reading a success. Tag writing a success. So now, Let's just suppose that that number wasn't my number, but that it was a number of uh, my spouse. And I have this tag in my car, so anytime I get in my car and I want to let uh, my spouse know I'm on the way home, just tap that tag, and uh, it's going to automatically send that message. message. And there it comes. And you can see it. Uh, no. That was my voice control app asking me if I wanted to hear the message, but uh, if you see right there, text from Eric Rye, I am on my way home. So, as you can see, it's good for that. Um, there's uh, just to show you a couple of things you can do. You can open a file, any file. If you have Tasker on your phone, there is a, a Tasker NFC app that allows you to use your URLs to initiate a Tasker task. So you can do that using the URL. 
um, at least until NFC Smart Q adds sh the uh, shortcut access feature, which they're going to do in an update, and then you'll be able to directly access uh, task or task. Um, also, the switch is an awesome feature. They're working on that right now. Um, what that's going to allow you to do is have a single tag that the first time you touch it, it does one set of things. The second time you tap it, it does another set of things. So it's sort of a toggle um, between settings. So you could put that on your bedside and have a tap it at night and it does one thing, tap it in the morning and it switches things back. So uh, anyway, as you can see, lots of cool things you can do with the NFC Smart Q app. Uh, you can also read the contents of a tag if you're not sure what's on there. You can copy a tag, you can lock a tag. Once it's locked, it can never be unlocked. And you can also reset a tag, which is another way of saying format it. Some apps aren't able to format tags very well, so if you try another app uh, to do something to a tag and it's not working, then I would suggest getting this app and using the reset to format the tag. Anyway, that's a really quick, short view of uh, NFC Smart Q. So that was a really quick review of the NFC Smart Q app uh, being used with some Andy Tags NFC stickers. Uh, if you want to see a more in-depth review of the app, just a really deep look into all the different uh, features it has and how it, uh, how it works and different things you can do, then uh, just click the link below and you can watch the full length review, which is almost 20 minutes long, so it really gets into every aspect of the app and all that it can do. Anyway, uh, this is Eric. Until next time, reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.